I welcome each one of you friends. Today we are going to talk about this chapter number 3. This chapter number 3 is concentrating on data for what? For improving business performance. So this is improve business performance. How? By managing data. Managing data to improve business performance is something we are going to talk in this chapter number 3. This chapter 3 is having four sections, database management systems, big data analytics, data and text mining and the fourth one business intelligence. We have studied about information systems. We have understood that information systems are nothing but combination of hardware software and communication technology. Now in this software what do we do? We store data, we process data and produce certain results. So what is this data and how this data is going to be managed is something we are trying to understand in this chapter 3 and 3.1. So the first section is database management systems. So what is this database management systems? Before talking about the database management systems, let's understand the usage of data, how data is being used in the real business scenario. So the first one is identify dissatisfied customers likely to defect. You want to know the person or the customer who is not buying from you right now, used to buy from you earlier, but now is not buying with you. And it seems that the person or the customer will leave you. How can you do that? So for that, this data will be in a position to help you out. The second example is best retention incentive for them. Now you want to retain those customers, those who are not buying from you right now. So what may be the best incentive for what to retain them? You will be able to know about this also with the help of data. The third example is detect fraudulent transactions and control fraud behavior. Something fishy is going on, something fraudulent or fraud behavior is happening. You want to know where is it happening, what kind of transactions are being done fraudulently so that you may control them. This will also be possible with the help of data and this data will reside in database. And we are trying to understand database management systems. Another example we have with us, make automated recommendations for product for a customer based on customer's profile, meaning thereby that we want to store lot of information about the customer, profile this customer, profile means what? We want to understand the buying behavior of, the, of this customer, we want to know how this customer keeps on buying and on the basis of this, we want to do something like automated recommendations. You must have seen this that whenever you want to buy something from Amazon or Flipkart, on the basis of your selection, the software or the website is in a position to let you know the products which other customers have bought, those who have bought the product selected by you. So this is something like automated recommendations. And we also have this option, last usage of uh, this data, make a split section second advertising decisions. A split second advertising decisions. Means what's happening, where the footfall is, what customer is expecting and immediately split second means not even one second is being spent, less than a second is being spent for online customers to avoid abandoned shipping cards. Somebody is in your 
profile somebody is browsing your website the person has put few items in the shopping cart and just now the person has left it now what should you do to bring this customer back to make this customer buy the product which he or she was willing to buy so friends in this manner you have few examples of data usage okay so now the question is what is a database database is collection of data sets or records stored in a systematic way what is this record we understand that there is something bit zeros and ones then a group of such bits is being termed as field name field address field mobile number field if we put all such fields together then the group of such related fields will become a record a record of a particular student of this class comprising of few fields name gender date of birth email id mobile this is record record is having lots of fields like name in name we have bits and bytes so thus far we have understood what is record group of records will become a file all the students are being recorded in this file by me a file containing records of all the students of this class is file group of related files is friends known as database so this is database collection of data sets or records stored in a systematic way is a database this stores data generated by various business applications sensors operations and transaction processing systems in the last chapter we have understood what is a transaction processing system this tps so data is being generated by transaction processing systems lot of applications are being used to generate data to collect data sensors are there one of the sensors which is very commonly used is bar code scanner it's a sensor and a lot of operations are happening with the help of which we are creating data so this created or generated data is being stored where in database so it's a data set of records or data which is being generated by various operations etc etc is being stored and this data in database is volatile what to say the data in databases are extremely volatile volatile means what it keeps on changing it keeps on changing right now you have bought something in the evening you may buy something else morning you may change your mobile number so it's volatile it it will keep on changing medium and large enterprises typically have many databases of various types what kind of types we may have like customer database product database suppliers database human resource database so in this manner we may have many databases lots of databases and this volatility is the nature of change which is happening frequently and wherever such databases the databases lot of databases database 1 customer database 2 suppliers database 3 human resource they are being kept together then it will form data warehouse so what is data warehouse 
integrated data from multiple databases. The prominent feature is that we are having multiple databases and data silos and organize them for complex analysis, knowledge discovery and to support decision making. Why do we want to have data warehouse? This data warehouse will comprise of lots of databases. Such databases are related to each other and we want to analyze the data kept within such databases so that we may discover some knowledge and support decision making. This is something friends known as data warehouse. May require formatting, processing and standardization. Why? Because every database will contain same kind of fields, field structure, records is not possible. So, at times we need to modify it and only then this data warehouse will be operational, will be in a position to be analyzed and used for decision making. What do we do? We load specific items, making them non-volatile and ready for analysis. Volatile we understand that the data is changing continuously every moment. What do we want to do? Analyze. So, moving data can't be analyzed. We will select the data from a particular period up to a particular period and then load that data to a specific system times making them non-volatile and now this data will be used for data analysis. Friends, when we select this data for a particular analysis, then it is known as data mars. It's a small scale data warehouse, obviously small data base we have selected from the warehouse that support a single function or one department. This is something known as data mart. This data mart is required for the enterprise that cannot afford to invest in data warehousing may start with a smaller thing, start with one or more data marts. With the help of this, what are we trying to do is to come to a qualitative decision which is based on business intelligence. I know something about my business which normally is not known. So, business intelligence is tools and techniques that process data and conduct statistical analysis for what? For insights and discovery. I want to know something more. I want to discover some new fact. This is something known as business intelligence. And finally friends, this business intelligence is used to discover meaningful relationships in data, keep informed real time detect trends and identify opportunities and risks. We want to do this analysis which will result into business intelligence. This business intelligence will be used to identify opportunities and risks, will be helpful in detecting trends and will be in a position to help us to remain informed in real time. This is business intelligence.